Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. It is the Raw Wrap-Up. I'm Mike Sorgat. Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Ready to talk Monday Night Raw after a hot extreme rolls here in the Steel City. What we got with us uh, tonight up in Poughkeepsie, New York. It is Mad Mike, the only one of us with a future Endeavor letter from the WWE. How you doing, Mike? Oh, man. I, I see um, a clean closet. That's a, that's a good indication of how Raw went. Well, Sorg, I I tried your method mm-hmm. um, because you always seem to enjoy Raw more than I do. Mm-hmm. But usually, it's because you're doing other things. You're, yeah. you're being you're being productive while you're watching. Yeah, Raw. being part of the community yeah. and enjoying uh-huh. yeah, exactly. and making fun of the weird little things and talking yep. about Vikings. Uh huh. Yeah. Um. So I tried that tonight. Guess what? What? I hated Raw even more. Hey, you know what? But you have a clean closet, and did you start counting anything? Um, no, but I said I'm sorry to my mama that I never meant to hurt her. I never meant to make her cry. Because tonight, I'm cleaning out my closet. One more time. Wow. Wow. Well, <laughs> we had a raw. We had a raw. Oh, oh I, I feel like this raw is in a time loop. <laughs> because we are setting up the match we had last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and we, we, we get the match that we set up last night that had the beach balls and the wave. Yep. So it, it, yep. th- th- this is where it's kind of in your face of, like, what are we well, doing here, guys? Sword, sword. See, see, it. they've learned from their mistakes. Yes. You know how I know this. Next week's match isn't even going to have a winner. <laughs> you know it's not. Yeah. We're, leading, we're leading to a triple threat of hot garbage. A triple threat of hot garbage. Yep. And it doesn't matter who wins that because there's a giant man with giant hands with the briefcase of impotence. So we're really, like, we're just fighting for the, for, we're fighting for the right to get beat up by Braun Strowman. Like, yeah. Sork, um, have you, have you watched Dragon Ball Super at all? Uh, no, not a lot of it. Okay. All right. Uh, there, there's a character in there called Hit. Hit? Yeah, Hit. Hit. He's an assassin. It's a very and, Japanese type of character, I guess. Yeah. yeah Anime. He's an, assa- he's an assassin called Hit. He's a hit man. Get it? Nah. <laughs> Jokes. Oh. It's, a four out, it's a four out of ten joke. Anyway, um, he has this, uh, this technique called time skip. I wish I could just time skip to the Raw after SummerSlam because we have... Five weeks to build up where to we this shit. where we where we set up for yeah we have five weeks to do that and oh. five weeks to also set up the relationship building of Sasha and Bailey. Nope, that's the no. I but I'll Mike, gar- I, I will guarantee this. But Mike, they're 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 telling each other their feelings for each other. Uh, and Peyton Royce and Billy Kay are just laughing. Mm-hmm. 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 Because I. What what are we even doing? See, what you what, have. See, what here's, are we? Doing? You have like what could be a compelling story, but yes. but you know when it's in there and you get a five minute segment in a three hour show every uh-huh. week for the past six months, uh-huh. it's hard to stay with this compelling well, story when it shows up when you go to get nachos or a bathroom break every week. But but no, see here's the thing. I don't do that. I don't. I don't take breaks. Wait, no. During yeah, the, you like, pee in a cup by your desk there, and no, I pee a... during. The, I pee during the commercial breaks like a normal adult. What, what? No. What I'm saying here is, it could be a compelling story, if someone knew how to tell a consistent story, which they have not. No. No. Not even remotely. And I want to call consistent. you. You. Um. And again, this is a, you know, take this as a different animal. I know it frustrates you to know and the storytelling issues with Monday Night Raw. 
Uh, the fact that we're not recalling people that were NXT champions and uh, ECW champions. No, um, I don't care about that because that that's fine. But yeah, but I mean, we're not remembering stuff we did weeks ago. Right, right, and it, and it, it, and it's a whereas you're you know I I can't I hate to go to the lucha comparisons whereas you have a very concise thing going on with lucha. There are way too many, um, no, not, not roosters in the hen house. Something along that. There's too many too people. Many too, too many cooks. Too many cooks. Too Absolutely. many cooks. Absolutely. None of them can write too many cooks. And they're not, and they're going like from no. storyline to storyline. Oh, no, see, the thing is, there's exactly enough cooks in this kitchen. However, what we need is writers, not cooks. We, <laughs> too many short order cooks, not enough uh, true chefs. None of none of reviewers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, maybe maybe that's the case. But uh, uh, yeah, as far as it goes, sword, we, we, sword. But the wrestling, Mike. We no, had but, the wrestling. No, but sword, sword. Um, I'm angry with you. With me? You? Well, me. Did what you, did I do? Did you know that you could get a championship shot just by rushing the ring? You were at Extreme Rules last night. Why didn't you do this? I got to say, and from the angle we're at, I had a pretty clear shot of the ring, too. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I just Sword. ran down about. I saw, I saw your pictures. Mm-hmm. You could have easily bum rushed Drew McIntyre during that main event. Oh, yeah. I mean, you're like, I was like, you know, I, I had about like four rows in front of me. And then it's that clean shot, that alleyway right up. You know, like like up the the timekeepers and pass Ronda Rousey, right? Like I, I could have. You could have been the number one contender for the Raw Women's Championship. There he goes. There he goes. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. <sighs> what? Why? Why? Why are we? Why are we doing any of this? <laughs> because wrestling. Um, <laughs> because people paid a lot of money for the show to exist. Too many shitty writers in the writers' room. Hey, you know what? It was nice to see Fox get its first win since buying SmackDown. Its first win? Yeah, Alicia Fox. Oh. I assume, I assume that's who bought SmackDown, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's who bought SmackDown. Alicia Fox. Alicia bought Fox Smackdown. bought SmackDown. And she, she got her first win. That's right. Yes. That's right. Um, oh. Sorg, we also need some wrestling historians uh, for tomorrow night's show. Okay. I have a question. Mm-hmm. And I am too lazy to look it up myself because, as you can see, I've been cleaning out my closet. Um, I want to know when the last week was where Curtis Axel and Alicia Fox both got televised wins. Oh, jeez. I want to know this. <laughs> I have a feeling it's it was back in 2010. What is this world? When did when did uh, he become Curtis Axel? Like I want to say it's I want to say when this probably could have happened was during the Rybaxel times. Oh, Rybaxel, those yeah. were the days. Yeah, yeah, I, like it's it's bizarre. I, I want to talk about something else. Okay, Vikings. Yeah, sure. I appreciate that Sarah Logan is one feels like she I'm like she's coming out she's got the face but I'm like oh crazy Mary Dobson days right yeah uh-huh. it's like we threw out the Kentucky thing she's crazy Mary and she's, she's no Viking. longer talking about gay meat no no um right she said but meat but she sends an like... email to Michael Cole mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and well, it, if you short, Vikings were known notoriously for their prolific emails. Yeah, that's right. That's right. An explanation. But their emails, though. Man, explanations of their motives to authority figures. Yes. Now, I hope. I don't think this is going to happen because, again, I'm doing that writing thing that we tend not to do in WWE. But I hope this somehow links with Edge. Edge? Why Edge? Edge. Oh, because, because he, he does a Viking show. Because he is on a show. Well, I I am I am just happy that now WB Raw Cannon fits her Instagram Cannon right now because uh, as I, I tweeted from the Mayhem account, um, uh, I, I I took a, a, a cap of her Instagram. And says yes, she's a Viking. If you know that, if you were on her Instagram, 
and that's why hers and Ray Ray Rose uh, Instagrams are are two of my favorite Instagrams that I follow because mm-hmm. uh, adorable Viking pictures uh, of the two of them. But uh, they were, actually, uh, she's been doing a lot of sword fighting too. That hey, been kind hey, of Larry, 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 Larry's in the chat room. Yes. Uh, Larry says the face paint is stupid on her husband, and it's stupid on her too. Oh. Um, so, Sorg, what we need to do is we need to contact friend of the show Ray Rowe, and we yes. need to give him Larry's personal information. Well, I, he liked my tweet um, tonight, so I know he's watching. Hi, yeah, I know. hi, Ray Rowe. How you doing? Hi, Ray Rowe. You still owe me a title shot. That's right. That's right. That's right. And when, so, when you get those NXT uh, 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 tag belts, tag titles, uh, which yeah. you're definitely getting very soon, I'm going to say Brooklyn. I'll, yeah. So I will be there. You there. there you I'll go. be in attendance. There you go. And if I mean, not there, it could be at War Games, and then our friend Alex Cars will be there, and he can take the he can take the yeah. win for you. Well, no, someone will have to fly me out. Fly you out, that, and you can team up with Alex Cars out there. Yeah, in, exactly. Uh, L.A. for yeah. for War Games. Yeah. There you uh-huh. go. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Alex, Alex says, uh, ask as Icelandic people about their emails. We need to find <laughs> Icelandic people. Uh, we can't ask them. Their accounts are frozen. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez. Let's Woo! talk about anything else. Let's uh, talk. Hashtag Punderdome, bitches. Let's talk about Ronda Rousey. Why? <laughs> Did she wrestle? No, no, she didn't. no, no, no. no. She... Is she going to wrestle until SummerSlam? No. No. No, no she's not going to because she just gets handed shit. Yeah. Because she's Ronda Rousey. Why are we doing this? Do they not see the problem with giving someone who doesn't wrestle a world championship? That's her second one, too. Yes. And she got like, screwed like, over. Like, now, wait. She got screwed over in that last match. So she No, kinda... she didn't. She won that match by disqualification. She got screwed out of the title. Yeah, but... Yes. Okay. Yeah, she won against the champion. Sorg, she deserves she another title shot. No, no, she doesn't because that championship match was a challenge made by the champion. Mm-hmm. She should have to earn a title shot. She should have to earn a title shot. A black Alexa Bliss didn't challenge her. Nia Jax did. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's probably going to be a triple threat, too. There's justification. Because... There's justification, and I don't think it's going to be a triple no, threat. Uh, Ronda, uh, Alex is saying that Vince says Ronda equals money. This is true. Uh, ratings, ratings are terrible. <laughs> ratings are terrible. Ra- ratings don't matter. Ratings are in ratings the toilet. Matter. Ratings don't matter. They probably should because USA I bet, still don't Well, they know. apparently don't matter when when they won't bring the show right. down for if, three hours if, and they've spent a billion dollars on SmackDown. Who's Exactly. Who's, if ratings don't matter, let's bring the show back to two hours and stop with a fucking overrun. No, no, you're no, not no. Compi- it's not, not, competing not, against it's not how TV anymore. works, Mike. They're get, they're selling ads against I, I the hottest property on television right now. But here's what you do then. You put the first hour of Raw as something else. How about Miz and Mrs.? Then not to take another bit of an hour of original content on a Tuesday night that you can sell yes. more ads against? Yes, because no one's going to watch Miz so, and Mrs. at 10 o'clock. I think some people are going to watch. Because, because they're also counter-programming against 205 Live. Who cares? It's, it's, it's WWE Network. But... It doesn't make any sense. It does in the long run. Two hundred five five. I think if you put Miz and Mrs. on eight o'clock, it would do better ratings in the first hour of Raw. Mm, I don't think so. I, I, Sorg. People love reality TV, and they make more money, and they make more. Are you wor- are you worried about two hundred five live? Or are you worried about Miz and Mrs.? Yes. Okay. And also, Miz and Mrs. is a lot cheaper to make than an extra hour of live programming. Uh, live program that they're already there to set up for SmackDown, so it doesn't really cost too much more. No, I'm saying an hour, an extra hour of live programming on Raw. Mm-hmm. Oh, on, on Raw, I see. Yeah. If you cut Raw down to two hours of live programming as opposed to three, that would save you money. <sighs> let's know. Let's know how those uh those budget yeah, sheets. Yeah. By go. the way, we're we're talking about this stuff because. Sorg, what's the question I ask every week on Raw? 
What happened tonight? And the answer is nothing. No. Nothing Sasha happened. Sasha says she loved Bailey. Something happened. That's nothing. We found out that Elias' album is coming out July 23rd, July 23rd, July 23rd. Yes, That's what was, happened. That's I what's do. important. It will be the first album I've bought in years. We but find out Sarah Logan's a damn Viking. We knew that from her Instagram. Character development. No, no, we found out that the announcers just decided to find out about this. They should have known this shit from the beginning. We found out that uh, that Michael Cole, Adam Cole. Yeah, Michael Cole. Adam Cole. <laughs> Michael Cole. Somebody yelled Michael Cole, baby, at the uh, pay-per-view, and I just was got that, a was that, that. Was that Matt? Because Matt and I. <laughs> I think no, it was be, Matt. <laughs> no, because Matt and I were doing that um, outside of the smoother. Smoother. Every uh, time someone screamed Adam Cole, baby, I screamed Michael Cole, baby. <laughs> Oh boy! <laughs> and so then I then I screamed Garrett Cole, and then I screamed Ian Cole, and I forgot Ian Cole wasn't on the Penguins anymore, so I got chastised. <laughs> I don't I don't know what's happening with the sports puck talk anymore. Um, uh, but nothing uh, happened on Raw, so I ha- we got to fill the time somehow. Great, so. we got great matches. We got two three ways. We got we got two we got three ways with Ember really Moon and Sarah look. Logan was pretty great. Bobby F J Town loved it on Twitter. Yeah, no though. Ember Moon has been killing it silently, and she's never going to get reward because she's not Ronda fucking Rousey. Oh, Larry, Larry, she is not the uninteresting version of the Wolf Girl and Glow. <laughs> He's not far off. He's not far off. Oh, jeez. Um, but we do. Hey, wait, Larry, wait. bravo, bravo. That's accurate. That's accurate. Friend of the show I'm alert. Gonna call it- they call her Ember the Wolf Girl now. Friend of the show alert, um, uh, Lady Frost is, was uh, in the conga line tonight. Okay. So, uh, by the way, what was No Way Jose's match? Uh, he doesn't. <laughs> no Way Jose's never going to wrestle again. Oh, what yeah, are you talking he didn't about? Have one. There was a conga line for no fucking reason. <laughs> Uh, fun fact, Lady Frost was supposed to be in the studio tonight for an interview for another podcast that had nothing to do with wrestling, and she got called to Buffalo to be in a conga line. This is a weird world that we live in. That's pretty <laughs> funny, actually. Lord, you just got big league for the Fed. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. You got big league that wasn't by John McChesney. I'm not mad about that one. I'm not mad about that one, but it's kind of hilarious when you just kind of say that. Be like, oh, yeah, she couldn't make it. She had to be in a conga line to Buffalo. <laughs> Hey, you know what? But hey, I, 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 I'd, I'd skip some stuff to be in a conga line in Buffalo for. for I'd fans. skip this podcast to be in a conga line. In <laughs> Let's be honest about this, you know. Jeez. Uh, and um, Alex Phil Kessel is a two-time Stanley Cup champion, so shut the fuck up. I want to have a. <laughs> we're gonna go. Right, we're gonna close this out, and I'm gonna give you an early what I learned in wrestling this week uh, for you guys. A little something Ooh. special has to do with Raw. Uh, uh well, WWE, I guess in general, that was surprising. But uh, I just want to add a little bit to this. Yeah, we know what you're talking about, Logan. Um, oh no, I I thought he meant Ember Moon. Oh no, no, no Ember Moon. Yeah, Ember Moon's gonna have great matches and stuff. Um, I, yeah, I, think it's good. I like zero I character. Like, I like the Riot Squad. Yeah, no, Riot I, Squad's I, I like fine. Riot Squad. Like the the we're gonna just ruin some harsh somebody's mellow on the way out They're of the ring. Start week. a riot. Yeah, exactly. Like it's. I'm okay with that. I have wow, no without with that. without the main namesake, you're just going to take on the faction title. I think it's good. I I, I like it. I'm, it's okay, I'm okay with that. Two. They're never going to get anywhere though. I know. I mean, they're they're where they're at. I mean, they're, it's. Yeah, I know, but again. We're gonna have the same problem with the women's division on Raw but that we currently have with the men's division. Is there a problem? Because you, yes. I mean, you got three. Yes, there is a three problem. Three separate women's segments on Raw on Monday Night Raw at this point. Uh huh. And because there's none a of deep the, roster, sword, 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 and we don't have the put two five live anything. out there anymore because they're all you know doing their own thing up against Miz and Mrs. But Sword, most once Ronda Rousey wins that title at SummerSlam. Mm-hmm. None of the women's segments will mean anything because she is going to just hold that belt until it's either Asuka or Charlotte that beat her at WrestleMania. We'll see. We'll see, Mike. We'll see. Maybe they'll get her in uh, some, some six-man tags. Maybe uh, nope. some commentary positions. Sorg, do you want to do another five-bot bet? Five-bot bet? I don't know. Five-bot bet? Ronda Rousey will not wrestle... 
All right, fine. Ronda Rousey will not wrestle a match on Raw in 2018. Ooh. Will not wrestle a match on Raw till 2018. In 2018. In 2018, she will not wrestle a match on Raw. See, now I kind of agree with you. Uh, don't you don't you see that as a problem? No. I, I you should. No. You should. No. Not. Because unless unless we're introducing women's tag team championships, so that mm. women on Raw can fight for something. I don't know because Sasha and Bailey looks like they're they're like in a position to win a tag team belt at this point because <laughs> what else do you do there well no first we have a first we have to have a best of seven and then they win oh, tag team belts. oh right 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 you're right you're right you're right yeah um, even tina's agreeing with me there's got to be a women's tag division at some you point you can do it on mondays no it should be over the whole company i think you just make a thick a six person tag team championship no intergender no 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 I'd, I'd sooner rather see a mixed match challenge champion. You know what? I don't hate that idea. I don't hate it either. I I I really like it. I wish they would do it, but they're not going. I do to. wonder what they're going to do with that like that concept. Like, do they go back to Facebook and do uh, another one of those at some uh, point? You know, what was it? Well, I don't know, think it go- did that well. I I, I, mean, I, I don't know. It, it had to have done pretty well for them, right? And and but... plus, they had to retcon way too many of the creative things that their talent was doing with that. Uh, they they did. They had to retcon so much of that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, Mike, how much of Raw was watchable for for you tonight? Uh, reverse that. How much time did you spend cleaning out your closet? No, no. I'll say how much of Raw was watchable. I'll say uh, about twenty five minutes. Twenty five minutes. I'm gonna go flat 25, two hours. No, because uh, twenty five minutes. I'm I'm eliminating everything that has to do with Roman Reigns and Bobby Lashley. Everything, because because even though the triple threat matches were really fun, mm-hmm. the predictable endings made them less so. I didn't see it predictable. Sorg, I literally said I would eat two video games and a sandwich if it wasn't Lashley and Reigns winning tonight. I didn't think it was predictable. I, well, then I think it could have so, gone a lot of different ways. Oh, it could have. Definitely could have. Oh, it I'm wasn't not, going to. I'm not crazy about where it ended up, but you I, know. I literally would have preferred any other way. I just wish any other every any time other way. every time Bobby Lashley wins, I just have this gif of a oh, guy that looks similarly like uh, Sean Phoenix just going wild with Bobby Lashley winning and high fiving me. And Bobby Lashley, uh, he sweats a lot. <laughs> so he's a perfect match for Brock Lesnar. I. That match shouldn't go any longer in five minutes just because they're all going to collapse. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jesus. Yeah, I'm going two hours flat on that one. Um, <laughs> uh, Alex, I guess this is what we're just all doing uh, 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 early, I learned. Uh, he learned that he's uh, happy that they didn't put Roman versus Lashley as the main event last night, but next week they are most likely the main event. I think they start raw. I, I learned that... Um, I learned that... Pittsburgh, my my dear second city, the city that I love. Um, y'all need to look at a fucking clock. We love the count, Mike. This is the home of Mister Rogers. We like the count and learn shit. And you know what? It, if that was the point, and someone made that joke on commentary, I will let it slide. How did they um, ride that on commentary? Was there oh, references? They, did they ignore the shit nope, out of it? They ignored the shit out of uh-huh, it. Uh huh. And- Just like they ignored. All of the boos and all of the silence during the rain Lashley match. Oh, the boos were was when the security guard uh, took the ball, uh, the beach ball. No, the boos was when both of them entered the ring. Oh yeah, <laughs> no, 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 they did, no, actually, no, there were not boos. Tina, Tina, Tina. I don't think Bobby, Bobby, Tina, I, Bobby. I, I, I mean, Bobby. Room, but people I don't weren't ever want Dean Ambrose back. <laughs> you don't want what? I don't ever want Dean Ambrose back. You don't want Dean Ambrose back, no. Um, no. Um, people were not like super pissed that. Uh, also, half the half the crowd thought Hulk Hogan was showing up. Well, that's stupid. I, I am yes. A, you shouldn't want him to show up. He's still a giant racist. <laughs> He's still a terrible person. Or that is a debate for another day. I learned. I, I want Hulk Hogan to show up 
with the New Day. That's what I want to happen. And they just stare him the fuck down and throw pancakes at his bald spot. That's what I want to happen. Actually, it would be a fun segment. I know. <laughs> it's what you get. It's what you get, brother. Um, anyways... I uh, so my my extra what I learned this week that I want uh, special for you guys over here. I learned that Bruce Pitchard loves Miss Pac-Man. Um. Oh, I don't want to know why you know that. So I'm walking in IWC on uh, Saturday, and I'm I'm, I'm walk we're up in that kind of crow's nest up there, and there's some arcade games up there and stuff, right? And I look, and I'm just like, who are these guys that are going down on Miss Pac-Man? Well, that was a phrasing. Um, um, well, she does swallow. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Sorry, not that. sorry. Not sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but no, like they were just going to town on Miss Pac. No, it doesn't work either. Nope. They no. were playing. They were the video playing game. the video oh. game Miss Pac Man yeah. very intensely. I met another gentleman that I don't think was Conrad. I was like, is that Conrad? That's not Conrad. Anyways, I don't know. Uh, and uh, and they were like, I think they were filming it uh, for Facebook or, or YouTube or maybe something. It, maybe it was for Up, Up, Down, Down. But it was for, yeah, for Up, Up, Down, Down. Who knows? Uh, but, yeah, that's what I learned. That, so I had to kind of set up around him playing Pac-Man. That was kind of an interesting experience. Like, I, 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 I can't set up stuff. I can't unplug the games because I don't know. I don't want to uh, I don't want to unplug Brother Love's Miss Pac-Man machine while he's intensely playing it. Okay. Did, did he look at Miss Pac-Man and say, I love you? There were zero brother love references all night. That's extremely unfortunate, and everyone should be ashamed of themselves for not doing so. Tell me, Mike, uh, when Bruce Pritchard was in uh, TNA, was he like a heel uh, GM kind of thing? Oh, God, I don't know. That's uh, when I was taking Quaaludes to not watch TNA. Oh, okay. okay. No, I'm joking. I'm kidding. Uh, when he first showed up, he pretended to be a face, and he leaned right into the heel thing. Oh, good. That's what he did at IWC on Saturday night. If you want to see uh, Bruce Pritchard's involvement with Team Storm, Shane Taylor, uh, and Jock Sampson, of all people, uh, you can check that out over at IndieWrestling.us on VOD and digital. Uh, hit our Vimeo page for those, and you can check them out. Uh, wherever uh, you would like to watch those things. Some great work there by our uh, guys there on the uh, Indie Wrestling Night US team. And uh, a lot of fun. Really good show. The Street Fight. Holy crap. Uh, and a lot of those, I hope you guys have been enjoying. I've been tweeting over on Indie Wrestling's um, uh, US Indie Wrestling on the Twitter. The um, uh, Have you seen these, Mike? The, uh, the WWE Raw commercial break watches? The two-minute no. clips I'm putting up? Oh, no, I, I remember you telling me you were doing about, like, basically during my commercial breaks, I was mm -hmm. cleaning my closet. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. Yeah. But uh, just little little bits for you to get you through the commercial breaks or through whatever match you're not liking or through a conga line or whatever that case may be. Um, we'll be uh, here 9 p.m., of course, uh, Tuesday night of the Wrestling Mayhem show proper. Uh, no special guests this week. I'm just uh, We're just going to have a regular old show with the old crew. Um, I think I may send in an email because you, I don't think I'm oh, gonna be there. Just like the good old days. I know. I I, I think I'm gonna send in an email because, oh, doctor, I have thoughts. <laughs> hey, yeah, I'm not entirely sure who's gonna be on the show yet. Um, I know I'll, we might have lost Larry for a month. Um, so to to the elements. Sorg, Sorg, was he attacking WMS officials? Mm, yeah, he was. Uh, he, he he just randomly started being me with uh. With the the money in the bank lunchbox, and okay. uh, I was like, Larry, you might want to take some time off from the show. Okay. Um. Now, sword, you know what this means, right? When he comes back, you have to give him a championship opportunity. I do. I do. He needs to get a title shot. Uh. He'll immediately get a pirate chip, pirate ship championship, uh, title <laughs> shot at the, uh, at the next sword stock. The next sword stock. <laughs> yes. So. Uh. But anyways. Alex, if you see Killer Cross, tell him he terrifies me. What's that? Who's not going to be here tomorrow? Producer Missy's telling me from off microphone. What are you? Ooh. What? What? I'm winning a new producer. Why are you not here? Oh no. She's on strike again. Fantastic. Uh, the raw wrap up will probably not happen next week because I'll be in Philadelphia. Oh. oh no 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 no! 
It's going to happen. Okay. I'm going to do a solo show. Okay. I don't, I don't know when I'm going to watch Raw. Okay. Because I may be doing It's going to be awkward when I post that on Friday. Well, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> no. Okay. It's fine. People <laughs> deserve to hear thoughts about Raw because I'll have them. Okay. I'm sure I will. Especially, ooh, if this main event next week goes the way I think it's going to go. Oh, man. How am ooh. I going to watch my wrestling next week? This is going to be rough. Man, Mike. So you'll be able to hear me angrily scream. From Man, Mike, 483 on the Twitter. Sorgatron on the Twitter. We've been talking about Raw way too long. We've been talking to you for a, a sixth of Raw. We'll see you guys next time. 